Hi, we are Willie and Lakeisha. Our son Braylon is seven years old and is severely developmentally delayed. At five and a half months old, Braylon was diagnosed with bacterial meningitis. He was sent to St. Joseph's Children's Hospital for six and a half weeks and four and a half of those were spent in the pediatric intensive care unit. Our son is prone to seizures and has had two strokes. Braylon will continue to have special needs due to his severe brain damage and permanent VP shunt. But despite his condition, our son continues to fight. St. Joseph's is the one place where Braylon can receive all of his treatment in one place. Right, right now we're thankful for the care of, caregivers that help us with Braylon. Uh, for the rest of his life, as his parents, we're going to have to care for every aspect of his life. But we depend on St. Joseph's to deal with the treatment of his asthma as well as his seizures. Please don't stop the hospital funding. Mm -hmm. They provide critical help for Braylon and other children like him. My husband works full time and I'm employed with the public school system. However, I'm not able to work full time due to Braylon's extensive needs. One of those needs is his weekly therapy schedule. My job with the school system is to assist families with children who have special needs to matriculate through the school system. <laughs> My husband and I also volunteer to help families in similar situations. Medicaid not only helps us provide a better quality of life for Braylon, but it keeps him alive. As hospital funding is cut and services are reduced, we are the ones who suffer. Please heal Florida's health care. We, we are, are the, the face, face of Medicaid. Medicaid.